The island of Iona, located off the west coast of Scotland, is a place steeped in ancient lore and mystery. Known internationally as the monastic birthplace of Scottish religion, it is a place of pilgrimage and deep spirituality. However, there is another mystery that has long captivated the minds of historians, archaeologists, and treasure hunters alike, the missing library of Iona. The story begins in 563 AD when the missionary Saint Columba and his followers landed on the island, and established a monastery. This isolated island, off the southwestern tip of Mull, was soon to become the intellectual powerhouse of the medieval world. The monastic community established by Saint Columba grew into one of the most important seats of learning in Europe, and it is said that the island housed an incredible library that held the most extraordinary books known to man. Pre-Columba, the island was sometimes referred to as Innisnam Druid Nietzsche, the Isle of Druids. Old stories record Saint Columba and his followers fighting off the local Druid elders when they landed to take possession of the island. This version of history sees 5th century Druids escaping persecution from Imperial Rome and finding sanctuary on the outer wilds of civilization. It is said that they founded a library, which if true would be extraordinary, as the Druids were not known as a people who wrote down their teachings. The impact that finding this library, would have on our interpretation of history would be explosive. But as revelatory as this would be, it gets even better. Another story attached to the island suggests that as well as housing the written records of the Druids, it was also home to books from the greatest library in Europe. Scottish history is a murky puddle. Few records exist for the first half of the first millennium. Stories, myths, and half-truths cloud this period, and a consensus is impossible to find. Yet some histories have King Fergus II joining forces with Alaric the Goth to fight the Roman Empire during its decline and fall. This version of history reports that when Rome fell in 410 AD, Fergus II was not only there, but carried off books from the plundered libraries of that once great city. These books would have been marvelous, illuminated religious manuscripts, books from the ancient Greek philosophers, and ancient Persians. This treasure trove of knowledge and wisdom was said to have been brought back by Fergus and taken to Iona for safekeeping in the Druidic library. If this library were ever found, it would be historical dynamite. Unfortunately, for such a potentially great story, there isn't a lot of historical proof. Dr. William Ferguson, author of The Identity of the Scottish Nation, doesn't think it terribly likely. This is a tradition, a tale, there is no proof, says Ferguson. There may have been such books, but if they did exist, then they've vanished. Nobody's ever been able to prove or disprove it. Yet there was one historian who gave credence to the presence of ancient manuscripts on the island. Hector Borse, a 14th-century Scottish philosopher, claimed he wrote his book History of the Scottish People based on a mysterious tome that he found on Iona. However, few historians give credence to Borse's book, regarding him as something of a Walter Mitty character. There is a serious question mark over whether Borse really found books on Iona or whether he made up his history. The only known survivor of the supposed ancient library is the Book of Kells, which is preserved at Trinity College in Dublin. Many believe that the rest were destroyed by Viking raiders who attacked in the 9th century. However, some historians believe that some of the books may have survived and taken to Ireland or buried nearby to keep them safe. In the 1950s, a group of St. Andrews University archaeology students conducted a dig on the Treshenish Islands, near Iona, in search of the lost books. They found nothing. But who knows if they could still be there, a hidden cache of history and knowledge that, if found, might possibly represent the most important find of our time. But the mystery doesn't stop there. Another theory suggests that the missing library of Iona may have been buried underground, waiting to be discovered. The Gilmerton Cove is a mysterious underground series of chambers and passageways located in Edinburgh. The origin of the cove is unknown, but it is believed to date back to the 17th century. 
Some believe that the cove was used as a secret meeting place for the Knights Templar, while others believe it was used as a hideout for Covenanters during the 17th century religious conflicts in Scotland. But what if the Gilmerton Cove was not just a hideout, but a place where valuable books and manuscripts were hidden for safekeeping? Could it be that the missing library of Iona, was taken to Edinburgh, and buried underground in the Gilmerton Cove? The possibility remains a tantalizing mystery, waiting to be uncovered.